All right, YouTube. So I did what I said I was gonna do and I moved my monitor from here and I actually put it up here and it was a lot easier than you'd think. Uh, a lot of places have special brackets and this is one area where you can't get a bracket for really anything up here in the 3039R John Deere. But this worked out super good. So if you recall from my other video, I used the RAM mounts a lot. Uh, and that's what I did here. I took the existing RAM mount. I had another, uh, I, I used the same ball that's on here. And I just found another screw that would thread in through the factory setting. So let's go ahead and go around the machine here. Let's hop out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Don't mind the mess. Had to do a little wiring. So this worked out really cool. So this is the factory bracket, okay, that holds your mirror. And it uses this little pinch mechanism. Where is it here? It uses this little mechanism here with this bolt through the plate I just tapped my finger on in the tractor. It's a carriage style bolt and it passes, this rod passes through this loop and holds it, okay? So, I just found a bolt that was the same without the carriage head style and put the ram mount ball right in through there and then mounted it back up with its own hardware. And that worked so good and it cost me like nothing. I already had the money in the ram mount and I had a screw sitting around and it works perfect. So yeah, very easy fix. Freed up a little bit of space here. I really wanted to move my cell phone holder out so it was just more ergonomic, easier to see um, and scroll through music and whatnot. Um, I was actually thinking about moving this up here, but I really like resting my elbow here and just flicking the switches um, for the snowblower. It's actually more, it's way more ergonomic that way. So I think I'm actually just gonna leave that the way it is. So the next thing I gotta do is I'm gonna pull this cover off and I'm gonna put that Ken's bolt-on hooks, um, multi, um, rear, what are they called, rear multiplier, um, switch on here. Well, you flip the switch and then your buttons here do a different function basically. Um, but yeah, it uses these quarter inch um, ISO AG couplers. So that's next. Now the snowblower controls, they're pretty hard to see. They actually come out down here, right here. That's it. Right below the plate where Ken's bolt-on hooks um, multiplier is gonna go. So this worked out pretty easy, very clean install. I used almost everything that came with the system. I tucked it up in the headliner. You can see it there, tucked it right up in there, all the way around. It really only peeks out here and here. And I used the factory cigarette lighter switch or 12 volt uh, round outlet switch and just put it there for now. So what I'm probably gonna do in the future is take some of that out and run a switch over here that says camera and run it to power and do it that way. So I just flip the switch uh, and it's good to go something keyed off ignition because even if the tractor's off if i forget to turn that off this will be on and i don't really like that so but yeah i thought that was pretty cool and i would just quickly make a video and show you guys um how i worked that out that's that's pretty slick because man everybody else spends big money on mounts and that was <laughs> that was crazy simple absolutely crazy simple works really good it's a little further away, so it's not, I don't, I don't know if it's, that's going to be a big deal. It's about the same distance it was, maybe a little further away than it was in the 1025R, but I think that's going to be perfect. And I'm not looking for high def or anything like that. I just wanted to keep an eye on the snowblower, what's behind me, um, and use that camera on the pallet forks, on the loader now and then, to help get, get it underneath uh, pallets and whatnot without puncturing stuff. But yeah, you can see, pretty clean overall. I'm leaving this some slack here. I might I might tuck it back in there and use some of my little sticky tabs to hold it, but I don't know. I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do there. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. We are trying to grow this channel. When I say we, I mean myself. My kids, they love YouTube, and uh, they, uh, they're pretty stoked that I've got almost 2,000 subscribers. They can't even believe it. <laughs> so... Uh, mostly it's for them. They're going to eventually be a bigger part of it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time. Have a good one.